What's up everyone? This is Joey, Bluff Response, and today we're checking out the Electron Analog 4. Let's get right into it. Alright, so we've got the Analog 4 here. I was never into this one when it first came out, admittedly so. I, I got it and I was like, oh, this is fucking boring. But recently they became so cheap that I was like, why not give it another shot? And this time I fell in love and I've been using it in a lot of jams. I like the sound. I've got a kick here. We're gonna sequence it, see what the fuck happens. Boom. Smashing. Can do cool arpeggiator shit. I like cool arpeggiator shit. Let's hear what cool arpeggiator shit sounds like. Two oscillators, two filters, three envelopes, two LFOs. Getting there. Amplitude modulate. Let's see what happens. Let's get fucked up. Chorus delay reverb, the standard effects in every machine. But I remember this was kind of the first where that became standardized in my book. And now that's all you get in every fucking machine you buy. Doesn't matter what it is, it's like, oh, chorus delay reverb. We only thought of those effects ever. It is not okay, we need more creative effects and stuff, people. This is, you know, almost a 20-year-old machine, but come on. EBM Now how can we make it actually cool? Cause right now it's pretty by the numbers Get in there. Start fucking around. <laughs> Love that filter effect. Ooh. Got a bit of a rhythm. Fuck with that delay.
Ooh. Got that groove. Again, somewhere. Smoking. Slow jam. Oh. Oh. I'm dancing in my seat. Velvet's Analog Christ. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little by the numbers, but I'm having fun with it. Where's Ogre when we need him? Ooh. Problem is you got four tracks. I want to put like a hi hat or something, but we can't. That's the limitation. But this is not a drum machine. It's a synthesizer. That's just reality. But it sounds great. Mm. But yeah, I would love to add more to this. Let's speed it up. One ninety. Oh, yeah. Get crazier.
<laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> Smoke it! Break the noise! Analog 4. So that was fun. I really like the core sound of the Analog 4. It doesn't do everything and it doesn't need to do everything because in my opinion it really captures that kind of raw classic analog sound in spades. If I want those Roland style arps, acidic lines, old school skinny puppy type sequences, it's all there and that's what it's good for. I really think I was pushing the machine to the limit in this, uh, running out of voices, running out of effects, whatever because it really is quite limited in some ways, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I don't think it could be the only machine, but it could be one machine in an array of machines to provide you with that classic analog basics because it does it so well. I really think it's a great example of it and it kind of like, I'm looking at, you know, profits, I'm looking at whatever, like, oh, those would be great, but when I play my analog for again, I'm like, no, I, I can do everything those things do and it sounds just as good in my opinion. I, I played a Prophet 5 recently, I have to say, and it sounded fucking incredible, but the Analog 4, like, makes me feel not so hurt about it inside that I don't have one, so that's good. Samples of this jam are going to be on my Patreon, as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe here. Check out my Patreon. If you want to buy an Analog 4, there's going to be affiliate links in the top comment and video description. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. See you next time. Peace out.